Welcome back to the round table, I'm Retro Nemo. The animation community is a weird meshy glob of good and bad. Like any industry, especially entertainment, it has its ups and downs. So with every bit of bad news that comes out, you can expect to see at least a little good. And the good news today is that the women leaders of animation are banding together to put an end to sexual harassment in the industry. A lot of women leaders came together to write a letter, which was prompted by the recent influx of women coming out with their stories of sexual harassment. And the recent exposing of entertainment figureheads, Harvey Weinstein, and more recently and horrifyingly, Chris Savino, creator of The Loud House. These events seem to have completely shaken the entertainment community, but luckily has given people, especially women, the strength to come out about their stories. And now, the women of animation are finally putting their foot down against it all. This letter was written by many women and non-gender conforming people in the industry, like the lovely Rebecca Sugar who created Steven Universe, Lauren Faust who created My Little Pony Friendship is Magic and also worked heavily on Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends and plenty of other cartoon classics, and finally the creator of Amazon's Danger and Eggs, Shady Petoskey. These women wrote the letter calling many studios to action against sexual harassment, as it has definitely been a hot topic and problem recently, and quite frankly, it's time to put an end to it. The letter itself was sent to just about every studio there is out there, including but not limited to Cartoon Network, Disney, Nickelodeon, Titmouse, Paramount, Sony Pictures Entertainment, and Warner Brothers. This isn't to say that all of these studios have sexual harassment problems, but at the same time with all of this information coming out, there's definitely a good possibility that there are problems happening behind closed doors. In the letter, they talk about how women are just a small portion of animation, an already relatively small industry as it is. And from what they say, women aren't very welcomed in the industry. The letter says, It seems that some men have not embraced this change. They still frequently make crass sexual remarks that make it clear that women are not welcome on their crews. Some have pressed colleagues for romantic or sexual relationships, despite our clear disinterest. And some have seen the entrance of more women into the industry as opportunity to exploit and victimize younger workers on their crews who are looking for mentorship. And sadly, at least for a while, there didn't seem to be a solution to this problem at all. The letter goes on to say, In addition, when sexual predators are caught at one workplace, they seem to easily find a job in another studio, sometimes even following their victim from job to job. That's actually super freaky, man. That's, that's really bad. This letter is extremely important, seeing all that it exposes. It's time for women to have protection in the workforce, and this letter could be the push that animation and entertainment companies need to finally change their ways. The letter says they're sick of relying on whispers between co-workers to know who's not safe to be alone with. They also make several demands in the letter for a change in the industry. The following are those demands. 1. Every studio puts in place clear and enforceable sexual harassment policies and takes every report seriously. It must be clear to studio leadership, including producers, that no matter who the abuser is, they must investigate every report or face consequences themselves. 2. The Animation Guild add language in our constitution that states that it can censure, fine, suspend, or expel any member of the guild who shall, in the opinion of the executive board, be found guilty of an act, omission, or conduct which is prejudicial to the welfare of the guild. To craft and support the new language, we ask that an anti-harassment and discrimination committee be created to help educate and prevent future occurrences. 3. Our male colleagues start Start speaking up and standing up for us. When their co-workers make sexist remarks or when they see sexual harassment happening, we expect them to say something. Stop making excuses for bad behavior in your friends and co-workers and tell them what they're doing is wrong. It's sad that they had to even make this letter at all. This stuff shouldn't even have to be asked by anyone, they should just be a given. And what's even more horrible is how before all of this women were too scared to come out about it. They fear judgment and even losing their careers. The fact that they had to worry about choosing between their careers or a safe workspace is overall sickening and makes me wonder about how great the animation industry really is. I mean, we're all looking at it from the outside. We don't know what it's really like in there. And when stuff like this comes out, it really changes how you see it. And what's worst of all is that you have to wonder if not for recent events of the Weinstein exposure and what happened with the creator of the Lattos, Christavino, would anyone have had the strength to finally come out about this? For those of you who don't know, Chris Savino, longtime animation veteran and creator of the extremely popular Loud House show, was suspended recently for many sexual harassment claims. The whole thing is a way bigger news story. I'm mentioning it here for context. Look it up on your own, definitely. Be informed. But still, in the wake of all of these disgusting events, it's good to see that some positive actions are coming out of all of this. It's good to see that people are no longer hiding their stories. Now is not the time for whispers, ladies and gentlemen. It's the time for action, and hopefully things change so that this doesn't happen again. Situations like this bring a cause for change, and hopefully that's what we see. So what do you guys think? Do the events of the last couple of weeks disgust you? 
What do you think about the entire thing? Let us know in the comments down below. If you want more Roundtable, tweet to me personally at It's Retro Nemo or the channel at Roundtable Vids, along with our Facebook and Instagram under the same name. Check out our Snapchat, Roundtable YT, for little goofs that we captured throughout the day. If you want to get even more social, check out our Discord and Amino app. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Turn on the notification bell to join our notification squad. I'm Retro Nemo, this is your daily dose of cartoon news, and I'll see you guys next time.